Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Frida Munduro and I'm filming from Uganda in Africa, basically in Aruba. So today we are going to the falls. Yes, we are doing something different today. Today we are going to a Bayro waterfalls, you know, Luko, or commonly known as Oluko Falls. So I wanted to go to this place so badly, but I didn't know how to go in. So over the weekend, my siblings came to spend the weekend with me. So we decided to go to the falls and just enjoy ourselves. So this is the route going to the falls. And this is not the main road. This is just a shorter route connecting to the main road. So we decided to take it at the, the main road is better. It is bigger. And it's open so don't mind this road is very bullshit but yes we are soon going to connect to the main road So this is the main road uh, that takes you straight to the falls. So all of us were excited. My brother was excited. I was excited. My sister was excited because it was all our first time to go to the falls. So we didn't know how the place looked like, but we were all eager to see. And here we are almost there, almost there. Alright, so from this point, the border could not go, so we had to walk because the place is so, so slopey. So, here we are, let's go to the falls. This is the entrance. We are the entrance, and I, we have to pay a fee. Um, adults pay two thousand Ugandan shillings, and uh, kids enter for free. So it was only me and my sister who paid. Uh, my younger brother, they said he's very young. He's a kid, so the kids don't pay. It's only the adults who pay, and the gate fee is two thousand Ugandan shillings. Very cheap. So. Yeah, we are going, and from this point, place is very, very slopey. So you have to slope. You have to slope. It's actually very difficult for cars and motorcycles to go. Though some people still try to go there with them. Yeah. So the most beautiful thing is you can go with your food. You can go with your snacks. You can. Ah, it's a very beautiful place. So we are slope. We are slow. At this point, I was only thinking of muscle pull because looking at the place alone. <laughs> Cliff, how shall I? Let me see. We started that second. The place is so beautiful. It has been well worked on. It's got a very beautiful environment here. You could actually have your picnics here, small parties. It's beautiful. 
and then the music system you just get it from these guys at the gate i think it's such a free because we already found the the system there there were already people there so i think there is a fee you pay to to get the music system Right, so at this point I was scared because we reached there we found so many guys and they were in the water they were drinking they were smoking so we we're scared but we didn't come to play we wanted to experience the falls we wanted to experience the water and so we did no matter what we were actually we got courage because they were some other guys who were sober they were not drinking they were just enjoying the water so we were like okay at least it's but yeah at first we were so scared and i badly wanted to just enter this water and it, it was my very first very very first time to enter into a big water body like this i've never been to a big water not even a swimming pool so that's how scared i am because of water and i'm not somebody who is very good at experiencing things like that but this time i came for it so ladies we're only four ladies in this whole place and it's only two of us who entered the water yeah we are that is exactly you see that water falling that's exactly where i wanted to be and I ensured that I reached there. right it's time to enter the water now so this is me and my sister trying to we're all scared right you don't know how deep the water is we've never been here so we're just kind of scared like how we're going to get there where we're going to step but you see these guys in the water they actually came to help us you know it's me trying to see is it deep is it shallow is it So I think I I need more time in water. I need to do more of these experiments though. But these guys were so helpful. But you see this guy holding my hand. He left me. You see me jumping up and down. Hey, God. As, at this point, I swallowed water. I swallowed water, but I was like, no, we are going, we are going. But I don't know how to swim. I don't know. This was my very first time, but somehow shy money and somebody came to take me to where i wanted to be you see yeah but we got help though we got help um but you see that first guy in dread that guy left me he actually took me to that deep part knowing that it's deep and he left me there <laughs> okay, so this was me jumping in the water with my clothes because you see, um, this is what I, there so many guys, I carried some, I carried a biker short and a vest because I don't have any swimming, anything, but reaching there with all these guys and there's literally no place for change. Actually behind this pond somewhere, somewhere, you can change, but I, mm -mm, it's not me, I cannot address it, like so like no matter what whether i have um the right swimming 
costume or not i'm going to jump in this water scene that's why you see me jumping with everything the only thing i took off was the black shirt that i had over the vest but every other thing i went in like that because first of all i knew i carried extra clothes jumping like this. i'm like oh no these clothes will not stop me from experiencing what i want to experience i'm going to go into this water with this truck suit just like that so that's how i entered was me feeling so good feeling so good feeling so fresh after some good time in the water i think i was in that water for about an hour i was just there i was just enjoying so it's me feeling so good like i made it i did it you know yeah so it's feeling so good so fresh and yeah i was so excited all right so this is for um those who like to come to this place to this falls and is number one thing make sure you have you're coming late like maybe in the afternoon hours and you know you're going to spend a longer time please come with your transport you get the number of order if you're using your own motorcycle because there are no borders here and when you're done and you want to you really have to walk a long distance for the border so make sure you have planned out how you're going to go back from this place because there are no borders here so that is just how it is make sure you plan so very well and so yeah we are done guys so it's very late in the evening and we're going but at this point we didn't know how we we're going to reach home because the borders number was not going through there was no network but God saved us. There is a guy who came to check that place because uh, they were having an activity um, the next weekend. So he came with his team over to check the place and he carried us in his car and took us to the roadside where we got border borders. So that's it guys thanks so much for watching this video thank you so much for your support on my previous videos i really really do appreciate and please don't forget to like um, comment share with your friends and i will see you again in my next video bye guys